case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1987, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Fort Halifax Packing Company v. Coin, which centered on the idea that states can make their own laws relating to employee benefits as long as they do not interfere significantly with established federal regulations. The case originated from a main law that requires companies to pay employees a one-time severance payment if they close down. This law was challenged as potentially violating two existing laws, ERISA and NLRA, which protect employees' benefits and their right to negotiate with employers. The case involved Fort Halifax Packing Company, which had purchased a poultry processing plant in Maine in 1972. In 1981, after almost a decade of operation, the company closed the plant and laid off over 100 employees. While there were initial discussions about reopening the plant, the company ultimately decided against it. The Supreme Court held that the main law mandating a one-time severance payment was valid and did not violate ERISA or NLRA regulations. The court found that the law did not hinder the establishment or use of employee benefit plans, nor did it prevent employees or employers from negotiating other benefits or wages. The decision of the Maine Supreme Judicial Court upholding the law was affirmed, demonstrating that sometimes states have the ability to create their own laws relating to employee benefits without infringing on federal regulations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.